Good morning, friends, and happy Vlogmas Day 7. Lately, I've had a really busy work schedule, and my non-negotiable time for myself each day is my morning routine. My morning routine has absolutely changed my life. Whenever I'm consistent with it, everything improves. Good morning, it's 6 a.m. I keep my clothes and my phone out in the living room so that I'm forced to get out of bed when my alarm goes off and then I don't have to think, I just put on my clothes and then I get out the door and then I wake up on my daily one mile run. Running is my most favorite way to wake up, just the one mile. I've been doing this for three years so definitely don't compare yourself to me. When I first started, it was really, really hard. Now it's become something that really wakes me up and makes me feel totally alive and is just the best way to start my day. So refreshing. I seriously don't wake up until halfway through the run, so I don't even know I'm doing it until it's already halfway over. Now I'm going to stretch. I usually start stretching by 6.30 and I set a 15 minute timer to keep it quick and concise. They say one of the keys to longevity is stretching because it enables you to have more mobility later on in life. I have moderate scoliosis and I was told in my teens that I needed to stretch regularly and strengthen my spine in order to avoid needing surgery or losing mobility. The only way I've been able to be consistent about stretching is to make it quick and easy. So I have this 10 minute stretch routine that I do most mornings after my run and as with running I can feel a difference in my body when I'm consistent with it. Stretching is something that I don't ever want to do but that I'm always really glad that I did once I've done it. Running I wake up and get out before I can even really think about it. Stretching, I force myself to do feel really good afterwards. Gratitude is something that I really look forward to every single morning. And I'm currently working my way through the five minute journal, which prompts you in the morning and the evening. However, I do it all in the morning. So I write out my gratitude list in the morning after reviewing the evening before. Now it's time for some coffee and gratitude. I have read, seen, and heard so many times that a regular gratitude practice is key to actually feeling joy in your life. And I've never been able to be consistent with it until pairing it with my morning coffee. I think this is called habit stacking. But basically, instead of setting my kettle to boil as quickly as possible, I set the heat to medium high, and in the 10 minutes that it takes the kettle to heat up and water to boil, I make a gratitude list. 
Life really does feel a lot less scary and worrisome or overwhelming when I'm regularly practicing gratitude. That's good. Today, I'm grateful for you. <laughs> Seriously though, I, I really am grateful for you and I write that in my gratitude journal almost every day. Thank you. Next, I journal. This was another one of those things that I couldn't ever be consistent about until I did two things. The first of which was pairing journaling with drinking my coffee and the second was setting a 30 minute time limit or three pages, whichever comes first. Journaling is my most favorite part of my morning routine and I don't have my phone in the room. Rather, I keep time with an old-fashioned clock, and full transparency, it is about 7.35ish right now. Normally, I'd be sitting down to journal at 7, but because I'm filming, everything's taking a bit longer. This is a little hack. This clock is at least five minutes early. I'm not sure exactly how ahead it is because I don't want to know because I don't want to always be mentally doing the math, but when you journal in the morning, Use an old-fashioned clock, an analog clock. Set it early, X number of minutes, so that you're always just a little bit ahead, even if you don't realize you are. I also keep a to-do list right beside my journal because I find that my brain gets really distracted by all the to-dos I have in the background. So while I'm journaling, if something pops into my mind, I just jot it down really quick on the to-do list and then it's not taking up space and making my mind cluttered. That was a really, truly wonderful journaling session. Some days it really is just journaling what happened the day before. Others, I follow a prompt. Today, I had to sort through something that was making me feel uncomfortable. It was an experience that I had and I just wrote out all the details and felt my feelings around it and processed it. And by the end of the entry, I was feeling so much better. So that feels like a weight lifted and now I'm ready to enjoy my day, which means it's time to get ready. Normally, I start getting ready around 7.45ish so that by 8.30 I'm ready for work. I absolutely love picking out an outfit as cozy as my sweatshirt is at the moment. I don't really want to get changed, but I have spent years putting together my wardrobe and I love it and it is definitely a bright spot in my day picking out whatever I'm meant to wear that day. I'm not sure what I feel like. I'm feeling very bright and happy so I kind of want to wear this one. Pink, green, navy. This is quite a happy sweater. 
Let's do it. Welcome to the bathroom where I will be freshening up. I shower in the evening and I don't sweat very much on my run so I don't feel the need to shower in the morning, but I am gonna wash my face. Dry Shampoo Original Classic Clean. All right, keeping it simple for makeup. This is my little makeup bag. I just wanted to let you guys know that these eyelashes aren't real. I had um, extensions put in before starting Vlogmas because I wanted to wake up and just feel beautiful and confident in order to be able to film myself every single day and I didn't want to, I don't know, feel ugly and having eyelash extensions makes me feel really, really beautiful but I did just want to be transparent about that so that you're not comparing yourself to this. <laughs> These aren't real. And the eyelash extensions save me a lot of time in the morning getting ready because I already feel beautiful so I don't feel the need to put on a ton of makeup. There's no shame in taking advantage of the technologies we have today to feel beautiful because we have impossible beauty standards. So if it makes you feel good to look more like our beauty standards, that's fine too. But know that you are beautiful just the way you are. I'm gonna add some color to my eyebrows and brush them out with this Maybelline Tattoo Studio brow pencil in the shade 250 Blonde. I'm using my camera as a mirror because I broke my mirror over the summer. I've got this. <coughs> so we're getting up close and personal. I think that looks good. Time for some blush. I have the Morphe 2 in the shade Rosy Wishes. Then I'm going to add a bit of highlighter. This is Tarte Rose Gold Glow. I dropped it on the floor precisely a week after buying it and basically all of it <laughs> fell out. So I'm left with just this corner or edge. But a little bit goes a very long way. Just a little bit. I like to put on this lip scrub and then brush my teeth because this is only meant to be on for a few minutes and then you're supposed to wash it off. So, putting it on before brushing my teeth meets the time requirement and then also the act of brushing my teeth rubs it in a bit and it is a scrub, so it works really well. And then after brushing my teeth, I put on lipstick. sweater colors and I have this um, Lancome 196 drama matte lipstick sample it's very very beautiful it doesn't look very orange but when I tried it it looked more orange on my lips 
Yeah, that definitely has an orangey tint to it. Mm. I hope I got it. I hope this was a good application. I still feel like a slight imposter with lipstick, though anytime I wear it, I feel like the woman of my dreams. But I just always was waiting until I felt confident enough to wear lipstick to start wearing lipstick and then I realized that that might not ever happen so I just started wearing it and it makes me so happy and one of my favorite sayings is act confident and no one will question you so if you've been dreaming of wearing lipstick or an eyeshadow or eyeliner or getting your lashes done do it or rather if fear or shame is holding you back from any of the above that's not a good enough reason. You deserve to feel beautiful. <laughs> so, there we are. All set and ready for the day. Also, didn't want to not mention that I have a breakfast smoothie for breakfast every single morning. Usually around 10 a.m. or whenever I'm feeling hungry. That's my morning routine. Thank you so much for spending this morning with me. Life is so much more manageable and enjoyable when I am consistent with this. Run, stretch, gratitude, journal. Get ready. You can do it. Be consistent. I believe in you. And again, thank you so much for being here. I will see you tomorrow. Hey Morgan, this is Emery. I'm from Utah. This year I went through um, having my second baby. I went through a really traumatic birth and um, thankfully my baby and I are okay, but for a little while that, that was not the case and it was really hard. And I just wanted to share with anyone um, who may hear this and with you um, that when we go through something traumatic, um, it, it can be life-changing, but I've learned through the past few months as I've continued to show up and press forward and work on my own healing that um, although some of the stories and the things that we go through are not fair, um, there is hope at the end. And I wanted to share that hope and let other people know that someday you can look back at your experience and realize that you are stronger than you ever imagined. And um, you should be really proud of yourself for getting through what you've been through. And um, if someone else is going through something similar, please reach out for help, find support, um, because you are worth it. You are more than what you've been through. And um, someday you'll look back at this experience and realize you are stronger than you ever imagined. And you can be a strength to other people. There's people who have been a strength to me at this time, and I really appreciate all of the work that they've done to heal and um, and been there for me. So, yeah, I wanted to share that message of hope and let people know that you're not alone if you're going through something hard. Thanks, Morgan. Merry Christmas. Bye.